Hello everyone. In the last lecture, we discussed the procedure how to solve uh, a given boundary value problem using a finite difference method. In this uh, lecture, we will take up an example and we will try to solve a given boundary value problem using finite difference method. Okay, let's try to solve this problem. Okay, solve the boundary value problem d square y over dx square plus x plus 1 dy over dx minus 2y is equal to 1 minus x square times e to the power of minus x x lies between 0 and 1 means the lower boundary value of x is 0 the upper boundary value of x is 1 okay since uh, here we can understand y is dependent variable x is independent variable as you change the value of x the value of y will change okay and the order of the differential equation is 2 so you need two boundary conditions or two conditions to solve the problem okay so the two conditions are y is y of 0 is minus 1 it means at x equal to 0 the value of y is minus 1 and at x equal to 1 the value of y is 0 okay and he asked to take del x as 0 0.2 okay so we, we also know the exact solution if I solve this uh, equation using analytical method the exact solution is y is equal to x minus 1 e to the power of minus x okay at any x I can know the value of y okay if I want to find what is the value of y at x is equal to 0 0.2 the substitute x is equal to 0 0.2 you will get the value of y okay this is the exact solution to get this exact solution you need to solve this given uh, differential equation it is very difficult it is not uh, so easy to solve this uh, given equation analytically okay because you need to remember so many formulae okay let's uh, use finite difference method to solve this uh, given differential equation or boundary value problem okay so the first step or the primary step is to convert the given differential equation into algebraic equation okay we should convert the given differential equation into algebraic equation okay so the given differential equation is d d square y over dx square plus x plus 1 dy over dx minus 2y is equal to 1 minus x square times e power minus x okay so now i will convert this derivatives okay into a ratios or I will convert this uh, differential equation into algebraic equation using finite difference formula okay so we already know the uh, finite difference approximates central difference approximate formula d d square y over dx square is given by the approximate formula yi plus 1 minus 2yi plus yi minus 1 over del x square and dy over dx is given by this formula so i'll use uh, this approximate formula and i will convert this derivatives to ratios okay so when i do that i'll get uh, d square y over dx square as yi plus 1 minus 2yi plus yi minus 1 over del x square plus so wherever i got x i will replace x as xi okay so i'll get xi plus 1 times dy over dx the approximate formula according to central difference scheme is yi plus 1 minus yi minus 1 over 2 del x okay so del x is the uh, interval okay between the nodes so this is your del x between node 1 and node 2 the distance between x x1 and x2 the distance is del x okay so uh, this is the distance minus 2yi is equal to 1 minus xi square times e power minus xi so wherever you get uh, x replaced by xi wherever you get y replaced by yi because you are trying to write a generalized equation for any node i okay and wherever you get dy over dx or wherever you get derivatives replace the derivatives with central difference approximate formula okay so note del x is 0 0.2 so 2 del x will become 0 0.4 del x square will be 0 0.04 okay so uh, if i rearrange the terms 
if you, if I take the LCM that is 2 del x square and if I rearrange the terms I will get 2 uh, times y i plus 1 minus 2 y i plus y i minus 1 plus del x times x i plus 1 times y i plus 1 minus y i minus 1 minus 2 times uh, 2 times 2 del x is 2 del x square is 4 del x square y i is equal to 2 times 1 minus x y square times e power minus x i times del x square okay so uh, let's rearrange these terms again by taking y i minus 1 at one place and then y i and then y i plus 1 so when i do that if you see y i when you take y i minus 1 i get 2 times y i minus 1 so y i minus 1 i am taking out so 2 minus here also i got another y i minus 1 okay so i will get uh, del x times x i plus 1 times minus sign so i will get y i minus 1 uh, so i will get here minus del x times x i plus 1 okay similarly when i take y i uh, uh, term so y i is here another y i is here okay so y i means minus 4 okay again here minus 4 del x square okay plus again when i take y i plus 1 so y i plus 1 is here 2 times y i so 2 is here again y i plus 1 is here so that is del x times x i plus 1 is equal to this uh, 2 times 1 minus x i square times e power minus x i times del x square okay so i can uh, uh, simplify again so so when i do that by substituting del x at 0 0.2 so wherever i am having a del x here see del x here so del x is here so i'll substitute this del x as uh, 0 0.2 okay so y i minus 1 2 minus 0 0.2 x i plus 1 minus so del x i will substitute as 0 0.2 so i'll get this uh, and uh, i can cancel out everywhere 2 okay 2 i can cancel here and here it will become 1 here it will become 0 0.1 here it will become 2 and this is 0 0.16 so i'll get minus 0 0.08 so you can do that calculation so at the end uh, when you rearrange the terms when you rearrange the terms you will get y i minus 1 times 1 minus 0 0.1 times x i plus 1 minus 2.08 y i plus y i plus 1 times 1 plus 0 0.1 x i plus 1 is equal to 0 0.04 1 minus x i square times e power minus x i okay so uh, this is the equation for any node i okay this is the equation for any node i okay so x delta x is 0 0.2 so 0 0.2 when i put so x uh, x naught is 0 the lower limit is 0 the upper limit is 1 between 0 and 1 when i divide the problem domain or when i discretize the problem domain into number of nodes so i'll get total four nodes okay so x1 is x0 plus delta x that is 0 0.2 x2 is x1 plus delta x that is 0 0.4 x3 is 0 0.6 x4 is 0 0.8 okay at x0 is equal to 0 i know the value of y it is given in the problem at x equal to 0 the value of y is minus 1 that is y naught is minus 1 at x equal to b that is x phi is equal to 1 the value of y y phi is 0 it is given at the boundaries the values are given a y 0 and y phi is given at x1 x2 x3 x4 the values of y1 y2 y3 y4 are not known we need to find it okay so x1 is 0 0.2 x2 is 0 0.4 x3 is 0 0.6 x4 is 0 0.8 and i need to find the values of y1 y2 y3 y4 using this equation okay so this equation is the equation for any node i okay so i have got total four nodes one two three four so at first uh, first uh, case in uh, first uh, case i will substitute i as one then i will get equation for node one then i will substitute i is equal to two then i will get equation for node two 
then I will substitute i is equal to 3 then I will get equation for node 3 then I will substitute i is equal to 4 then I will get equation for node 4 let's do that okay so when I substitute i is equal to 1 here in this equation what I will get when I put i is equal to 1 in equation 1 so I will get y y 1 minus 1 is y 0 so y 0 times 1 minus 0 0.1 x 0 plus i is 1 sorry i is 1 so I will get x 1 plus 1 x 1 plus 1 my, uh, plus uh, minus minus 2.08 y1 okay minus 2.08 y1 plus y i is 1 so y2 y2 times 1 plus 0 0.1 x1 plus 1 okay is equal to 0 0.04 1 minus x1 square times e power minus x1 okay so x1 you know it is 0 0.2 and y0 y0 you know minus 1 so when I substitute that I'll get minus 1 1 minus 0 0.1 x1 is 0 0.2 plus 1 so I'll get this equation okay so when I simplify this and when I rearrange the terms I'll get minus 2.08 y1 plus 1.12 times y2 is equal to 0 0.91143926 okay so i can add uh, i can uh, modify this uh, equation as uh, plus 0 times y3 plus 0 times y4 because uh, since there are four nodes uh, and so I want to include y3 and y4 so I you can write 0 times y3 plus 0 times y4 is equal to this term so this is the node 1 equation okay equation for this node 1 equation for node 1 okay so let's put i is equal to 2 okay put i is equal to 2 in equation 1 so this is your equation 1 okay so when you put i is equal to 2 you will get y2 minus 1 that is y1 so that is y1 times 1 minus 0 0.1 i is 2 now so x2 what is the value of x2 x2 is 0 0.4 so x2 plus 1 x2 is 0 0.4 okay similarly minus 2 2.08 2 i is 2 so you will get y2 y2 okay then y2 plus 1 you will get y3 y3 times 1 plus 0 0.1 x2 plus 1 is equal to 0 0.04 minus uh, times 1 minus x2 square e power minus x2 okay x2 is 0 0.4 so when you simplify all these terms you'll, y, the value of y1 you don't know y2 you don't know y3 you don't know y4 you don't know okay you're trying to find the values of y1 y2 y3 and y4 okay so when you simplify you will get 0 0.86 y1 minus 2.08 y2 plus 1.14 y3 plus 0 times y4 is equal to 0 0.0225275 okay this is the equation for node 2 okay similarly uh, if you put i is equal to 3 in equation 1 to get equation for node 3 and put i is equal to 4 to get equation for node 4 okay so when you put i is equal to 4 to get equation for node 4 you will get y5 in the equation substitute y5 as 0 so when you do that you will get this equation okay so please do that okay so when you do that you will get a system of uh, linear equations okay there are four nodes so there are four nodes okay there are four nodes so for every node you will get a different equation these are these are that equations okay so there are four unknowns y1 y2 y3 y4 and there are four equations okay so you can solve the system of linear equations using lu decomposition method the method which you already learned in the class okay so when you do that when you solve these equations using a uh, lu decomposition method or gauss jordan method or gauss seidel method any method you'll get y1 the value of y1 that is y1 is nothing but 
the y1 is nothing but the value of at x is equal to 0 0.2 okay so at x equal to 0 0.2 the value of y is when you solve this equations you will get it as minus 0 0.65413 okay so this is your uh, uh, different solution but you already know the uh, exact uh, uh, solution okay you already know the exact solution so the exact solution is y is equal to x minus 1 e power minus x so substitute x is equal to 0 0.2 so you will get uh, the exact solution as minus 0 0.65498 okay so if you see up to three digits uh, uh, the solution is same after decimal so the absolute error will be very less so the relative error will be more more it will be more less okay so this solution is acceptable okay so similarly when you solve you will get y2 as minus y2 is uh, x equal to 0 0.4 the value of y is minus 0 0.40103 at x equal to 0 0.6 y3 will be minus 0 0.21848 and y4 that is at x equal to 0 0.8 the value of y is 0 0.08924 okay so in this way so finite difference using finite difference method you can solve any complex uh, boundary value problems very easily okay so the software uses this method okay so uh, when i uh, do matlab lectures I will solve uh, uh, complex uh, even this problem and also some complex non-linear differential equations in, in MATLAB very easily. The background process is uh, finite difference method. Okay, the software uses finite difference method. So you should understand before going to the uh, software, you should understand how the software solves the given problem. Okay, thank you.